Today on MTG Impact, we're going to take a look at the Wild Bounty Brawl deck. So this is a green, white, blue deck. As you can see, the commander is Tulane Teller of Tales. So very cool. So let's move these guys aside and take a closer look. Okay, so content, 60 card Brawl deck, life rule, deck box and informational insert. And we've got some cards there. Brawl is an exciting multiplayer format in which each deck is built around a powerful legendary creature or planeswalker. Okay, let's get stuck into it. And these things are pretty hard to find. They actually underprinted them. So you won't find too many around. I actually had to go around to eight stores last night looking for these. Uh, finally found them at a couple of different Walmarts. So the local game stores were all out, but I was able to pick these up for $21 each. Okay, so a nice little brochure here, talking about Brawl, building your own Brawl deck. Rules reference, here we go. So it's sort of like Commander, except you have 60 cards. Players start at 30 life on multiplayer games and 25 on one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so you can read the rules there. And here's where they go through each of the Brawl decks. So we'll be covering the rest of those this weekend. Okay, so let's open this up, check it out. We'll start off with the Commander. So the Commander here is Tulane, Teller of Tales. Some nice foiling there. Legendary creature, Human Druid, 2-4 for 5 with Vigilance. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. Then you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. And for three, tap return target creature you control to its owner's hand. Interesting. Okay, so here is the deck box. I've got a bit of a divider in here. Okay, so they've got some other things. So another divider. Ah, here's the life will. I was wondering about this. So what do we go up to? Is it like 40 or something? Yeah, 40. Okay. That's pretty nifty. So let's open up the deck and take a good look. And are you planning to pick up any of these if you can find them? Any in particular that are your favourites? Leave a note in the comments. And there will be a reprint of these apparently. Uh, it could be another month or two away, so we'll just have to wait and see. And we've got a little tip card here about Planeswalker loyalty. So we'll go through the mana base first, see how many lands we've got. Five planes, four islands. Six forests, okay, so roughly equal proportions. And then we have non basic lands Azoria Skilled Gate enters battlefield tapped. You can tap it for white or blue. Blossoming Sands enters battlefield tapped. When it enters battlefield, you gain one life. Tap it for green or white. And Command Tower, yes! Command Tower is sort of back in standard. Uh, it's not going to be terribly useful in a standard deck, but it is part of these Brawl decks. So you can tap, add one mana of any colour in your commander's colour identity. So I'm sure there'll be arguments about that in the comments. It's actually not going to be probably legal in a tournament standard deck, that's all. Evolving Wilds, so you tap, sack it, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library. Selesnia Guildgate. Enters tapped, tap it for green or white. Simic Gilgate enters tapped, tap it for green or blue. And as you can see, this is a singleton format. One of each named card other than basic lands. Tranquil Cove enters tapped. When it enters battlefield, you gain one life, tap it for white or blue. Thornwood Falls, uh, you gain one life. When it enters battlefield, tap it for green or blue. Enters tapped, okay. So let's move on to the deck itself and see what goodies we have here. 
So we start off with Fairy Formation. This is a rare, as you may notice from the color there, Creature Fairy 5-4 five, for 5 with flying, pay 3 in blue. Create a 1-1 one, one blue fairy creature token with flying, draw a card. Okay, so we're creating cards, tokens, Stillbane Hydra. Creature Turtle Hydra 0, zero for X and 2 green, enters battlefield with X plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. For two and a green, remove a plus one plus one counter from it. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Okay, Thorn Mammoth. Creature Elephant 6-6 six, six for seven. With Trample, whenever it or another creature enters the battlefield under your control, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. Tome of Legends. Artifact for two. Uh, enters the battlefield with a page counter on it. And whenever your commander enters the battlefield or attacks, put a page counter on Tome of Legends. So what do they do? Pay one, tap, remove a page counter from it, and you get to draw a card, okay? So we've got some good card draw here. Parhelion 2, Legendary Artifact Vehicle, 5-5 five, five for 8. Who's a fan of vehicles? Flying, First Jack and Vigilance, whenever it attacks, create two 4-4 four, four white Angel Creature Tokens with Flying and Vigilance that are attacking. You can crew it for 4. Okay, End Raise 4 Runners, Creature Boar, 7-7-4-8. Seven, seven, Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. When it enters the battlefield, other creatures you control get plus two, plus two, and gain Vigilance and Trample until end of turn. Sensing a theme here, pumping up your other creatures, generating tokens. Incubation Druid, Creature Elf Druid, zero, two for two. You can tap, add one mana of any type that a land you control could produce, and if it has a plus one, plus one cat on it, add three mana of that type instead for three and two green, adapt three. So that means if it has no plus one, plus one counters on it, put three of them on it. Okay, tons of rares here. Biomancer's Familiar, Creature Mutant, 2-2 two, two for two. Activate abilities of creatures you control cost two less to activate. Okay, that's handy. This effect can't reduce the amount of mana and ability cost to activate two less than one mana. You can tap it the next time target creature adapts this turn. It adapts as though it had no plus one, plus one counters on it. Time wipe! Sorcery for five, return a creature you control to its owner's hand and destroy all creatures. Okay, so nice board wipe there. Oh, Shockland! Hallowed Phantom! Land, Plains Island. So you can tap it for white or blue. As it enters the battlefield, you may pay two life. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tapped. Temple of Mystery. Okay, so we've got a pocket of extra lands here. So land enters battlefield tapped. When it enters battlefield, scry one, tap it for green or blue. Fairy Vandal. Okay, so that was a long run of rares. Creature Fairy Rogue, one, two for two with flash and flying. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on Fairy Vandal. <laughs> this one's hilarious. Run away together! Instant for two. Choose two target creatures controlled by different players. Return those creatures to their owner's hands. Okay, some bouncing back of creatures. Beanstalk Giant. Creature Giant, Star Star for seven. So this has this adventure mechanic. Fertile Footsteps, two and a green. Sorcery Adventure. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. That's pretty handy. And his power and toughness are each equal to the number of lands you control. Okay, so sort of a bit of a stompy deck here as well. It's got a whole lot of different elements to it. Keeper of Fables, Creature Cat 4, 5 for 5. Whenever one or more non-human creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, draw a card. Rosethorn Acolyte, Creature Elf Druid 2, 3 for 3, has Seasonal Ritual for a green, Sorcery Adventure, add one mana of any colour. And you can tap it to add one mana of any colour. Okay, that's a little bit odd, I'm not sure... What? I guess it comes in, yeah, it comes in as a Sorcery, then it goes to Exile, then bounces back as a creature potentially. Marileaf Pixie. Creature Fairy 2-2 two, two for 2 with flying, tap it for green or blue. Okay, so plenty of mana generation. Arcane Signet is back, people! Artifact for 2. Tap it, add 1 mana of any colour in your commander's colour identity. Obviously this card's only useful in Brawl or Commander. And that's probably why a lot of people are buying these decks as well, they get those cards. Forbidding Spirit. Creature Spirit Cleric 3-3 three, three for 3. 
When it enters the battlefield until your next turn, creatures can't attack you or a planeswalker you control unless their controller pays two for each of those creatures. Yes, make them pay. Next up we have Prison Realm, so enchantment for three. When it enters the battlefield, exile target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls until Prison Realm leaves the battlefield. And when it enters the battlefield, scry one. Next up we have Spectral Sailor, Creature, Spirit Pirate, 1-1 one, one for a single blue with Flash and Flying, pay 3 and a blue, draw a card. Circuitous Route, Sorcery for 4, search a library for up to 2 basic land cards and or gate cards, put them onto the battlefield, tapped, then shuffle your library. Okay, so digging around for lands, that's handy. District Guide, Creature, Elf Scout, 2-2 two, two for 3. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic land card or gate card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. Next up, we have Crawl Harpooner. Creature, Insect Warrior, 3-2 two for 2 with Reach and Undergrowth. So when it enters the battlefield, choose up to one target creature with flying you don't control. It gets plus X, plus 0 and 2 end of turn, where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Then you may have Crawl Harpuna fight that creature. Alrighty then. Silhana Wayfinder. Creature Elf Scout 2 1 for 2. When it enters, better for look at the top 4 cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or a land card from among them. Put it on top of your library. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Okay, onward to the elves here. Paradise Druid. Creature Elf Druid 2 1 for 2. As hexproof, as long as it's untapped, you can tap it for one mana of any color. Frilled Mystic, this one's funny. Creature Elf Lizard Wizard. 3 2 for 4 has flash when it enters the battlefield, you may counter target spell. Leafkin Druid up next. Creature Elemental Druid 0 3 for 2. You can tap it for green. If you control 4 or more creatures, add 2 green mana instead. Craziness. Growth Spiral, I love the artwork on this one. Seb McKinnon, unmistakable. Instant for two, draw a card. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Jaya Engineer, Creature of a Delcan Wizard, 1-1 one, one for three. You can tap it for green and blue, okay. Now this guy's funny, Shark to Crab! It's Shark Week at MTG Unpacked. We have Creature, Fish, Octopus, Crab, 4-4 four, four for 4, pay 2, green and blue, has adapt 1. Whenever 1 or more plus 1 plus 1 counters are put on him, tap target creature and opponent controls that creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Oh, this is a nice inclusion. Risen Reef, creature elemental, 1-1 one, one for 3. Whenever it or another elemental enters the battlefield under your control, look at the top card of your library. If it's a land card, you may put it onto the battlefield tapped. If you don't put the card onto the battlefield, put it into your hand. And then we've got a split card here, Flower and Flourish. Flower is a sorcery for either a green or white. Search your library for basic forest or plains card. Reveal it, put it on, into your hand and shuffle your library and flourish. Is that a sorcery for six creatures you control? Get plus two, plus two until end of turn. Oh, now we've got a section of split cards. Fine. Incubation, sorcery for green or blue. Look at the top five cards of your library, you may reveal a creature card from among them, put it into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order, and incongruity instant for three, exile target creature, that creature's controller creates a 3-3 green frog lizard creature token. And next we have a meteor golem, artifact creature golem, 3-3 three, three for seven, whoa, when he enters the battlefield, destroy target and on land permanent and opponent controls. Firemind Vessel, Artifact for 4, enters Battlefield Tapped, you can tap it to add 2 mana of different colours, and that is it! So that is quite a fun looking deck, so we have a lot of uh, removal, we have um, card draw, putting lands onto Battlefield, ramping with mana, uh, what else did we have here, some flash, We've got lots of dirty big creatures, or not lots, some dirty big creatures, I should say. Yeah, so this looks like a pretty decent deck overall. Uh, could be interesting. So leave a note in the comments what you think of this one, and stay tuned. We'll be reviewing the rest of the Brawl decks today. 
And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Thank you.